Here we're going to talk about one of four uh, data mining processes that we're going to cover in this lesson. So the first one is knowledge discovery in databases, KDD process. Before getting into KDD, let's talk a little bit about why do we need a standardized process for data mining? Right? If you look at it historically, in the last 15, 20 years, data mining transformed itself from an art form practice into a, at least partially a science form platform. So what does it mean to go from art to science? Art means everybody does it differently, every product is unique, every outcome is somewhat unexpected. Science means looking at those multitude of applications, multitude of implementations and finding best practices among them and then kind of standardizing and streamlining it and turning it into a step-by-step, -step, easily followed, executed, replicatable process. That's what we mean by standardized process. Until you have the standardized process, most everything that you do is going to have different outcomes. Some good, some bad. In order to save time and ensure that the outcome is usable, we need to force this art form practices into some kind of scientific platform that we call standardized process. It's also called a methodology or a workflow. Whatever terminology that you use, at the end of the day, what you mean is that it's a step-by-step, -step, logical, orderly sequence of tasks that you carry out to convert the inputs, in this case data, into the outputs, actionable inside for better, faster decision making. Unfortunately, there is not just one standardized process for data mining. There are quite a few of them out there. Some are more popular than others. Probably the earliest one is called knowledge discovery in databases. It's proposed by Fayad and his colleagues in 1996. These are the people who first defined data mining, actually had an influence in naming this particular practice area as data mining. In KDD methodology, as we'll look at the graphical depiction of it in a few minutes, Data mining is represented as one step in the total continuum. So KDD is the process, data mining is one task within that process is how they depict it. KDD is an end-to-end -end process with many steps and many feedbacks and replications to make sure that the tasks are carried out properly, outcomes are feed into the next steps correctly and in a proper fashion. So graphically, this is how it looks. This is my depiction of KDD process. You might see different pictures representing the same thing, but this is my version of that. It all starts at the bottom left corner with raw data, data that you have access to either within your organization and or organizational data as well as the data that you have access to over the internet or the data that you can purchase from other data repositories. So the data, the raw data, can be selected, organized, and extracted to only include the data that you will need to query and mine for the specific goal that you have in mind. We call this process data selection. It's not sampling, it's selection of what parts and pieces of the data that's relevant to the problem that you're trying to address. Then the target data goes through a process called data pre-processing, data cleaning to, for instance, impute the missing values, find the outliers, smooth the outliers, verify that all the values are correct, so forth and so on, is the process that we call data cleaning, which would convert the target data into pre-processed, actionable, processable data set. Usually the data set that feeds into data mining is in a flat form. Flat form means there are rows and columns and it's a single entity. Columns representing variables, rows representing the samples. Then the data, pre-processed data, is transformed as per 
different data mining algorithms. And the transformed and finalized data is pushed into different data mining algorithms specific to different data mining patterns and tasks that we talked about. And then data mining algorithms does their mathematical derivation to convert the data, the transformed data into patterns, actionable insight, which in the next phase internalized and acted upon by the decision maker. So it starts from raw data, turns into actionable knowledge, and in the KDD process, data mining is captured and depicted as one step where pre-processed data is converted into patterns and knowledge for decision makers to act upon. That's KDD.